Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, we are having Advocate Numalo on the witness stand. He is the one who is taking through Lieutenant Colonel Mangena on his cross-examination. Advocate Numalo uh, spends most of his time trying to prove to the court that his client, Mr. Mapisa, was, um, or maybe he tries to get, paint a picture to the court about the whereabouts of Mr. Mapisa rather than focusing on ballistic issues or ballistic related matters when he cross examined Lieutenant Mangena. So most of the things that he is um, whether asking or telling, because for me he's not asking, he's telling Advocate, uh, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mangena that at a particular time this is where my client was. At a particular time this is what my client was doing. At a particular time this is what was happening. Instead of asking questions that are ballistic related, because Lieutenant Colonel Mangena is a ballistic analyst specialist. So unlike with Pinky by telling him, you know, with Pinky, you could you could give this information that uh, our advocate is giving. But unfortunately, uh, for me, this was just a waste of time until we see Advocate Baloy objecting to this, saying this is not going to help the court because uh, Advocate Mumal was supposed to focus on ballistic issues. Family, I'm not sure if what I am commenting here, it's what you also see. Please uh, go through, watch and listen to this clip and in the comment section, let's talk. Hence, when you listen to, to Lieutenant Colonel Mangena throughout this, it's no comment, no comment, no comment. Because he can't comment about the cell phones that uh, 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 my lost client took about one second on a phone and all that. So hence, he kept on saying no comment, no comment, no comment. Family, let's watch and listen. Yeah. No see No comment, my lord. Yeah, he said um, uh, how will you do to my dog? <coughs> Just repeat the names again. Nube. Nube. Mangungu. Mangungu Ntuli. right? Yeah, fine. And the one, and the one, the one, and then Spiva and Dole. Spiva. Yes, Spiva and Dole. Spiva and Dole. Linda Lamini. And Sky Ojian. And Sky Ojian. Yes. And of course, Mr. Mapisa. And of course, Mr. Mapisa. Okay. If I don't instruct me that from there, the minibus could be left uh, the central, that is Johannesburg Central. And we proceeded to Katle Hong at Spade Mazibogo Hostel. Katle Hong in Spade Mazibogo Hostel. In Katle Hong, Spade Mazibogo Hostel. Yeah, yeah, a catle home in the Mazibugo hostel. No comment. Instruct me that his version in this regard finds support from the photo, from the photo album with photos which was compiled by Sergeant Mabaz. That is. At page nine of the photo album, 
it depicts a font or where Mapongo Ndulu using a font belonging to Mr. Mnube took a photo of Mr. Mnube and Mr. Mapisa at Katle Hong Sprite Mazibogo Hostel. The photo was taken on the 26th of October 2014 at about 11.52 minutes in the morning of the 26th of October 2014. From this destination, it instructs me that the minibus could be traveled taking a direction of the city where they wanted or had to visit one person by the names of Namoza Kumed. It starts me that this fine support from the photo, that is photo number 47, which was taken on the 26th of October 2014 at about 1500 hours, 30 minutes, 31 seconds, at the said. It's number 47, it's at home, and it's got 15 hours, 30 minutes, and 31 seconds, it's at home, it's at No comment, Mano. I'm probably low to my dog. It instructs me that they spent some time there. From there, the minibus home is departed or okay. left. That's Until it reached George Koch Hostel and the photo was taken there on the 26th of October 2014 at about 1700 hours 28 minutes 39 seconds. Can I the time again? 1700 hours 28 minutes 39 seconds. Page 17 of Exhibit S depicts a photo which was taken on the 26th of October 2014 at 1700 hours 28 minutes 39 seconds by Mabong Ndodi. And the persons who are in that photo are Mr. Mnube and Mr. Ndodi before court. No comment on that. It instructs me that during that period, that is the 26th of October 2014, he was residing at the corner of Julius and Sinclair Street in Johannesburg. Uh, no comment. It instructs me that from Katle Hong Hostel, the minibus Kumbi left to his place of residence. From Kakle Hong, the minibus Kumbi left to his place of residence. That is where Mr. Mapisa was residing at the corner of Julius and Simpton Street. 
I'm sorry, my daughter, just to correct. In fact, they left Josh Koch, not uh, that they home. So they left Josh Koch hostel. We think about Suga H. Josh Koch hostel by a lakshana corner of my pizza, a corner of Julie, and a single who been a push at Tana Lapolo Wuti, a basuga ekat home, basuga ek Josh Koch. The Mini bus could be dropped in after six. It is after eighteen hundred hours. So I can the, the, the mini bus combi in which the, he was in with the rest of the group dropped him at his place of residence after eighteen hundred hours on the twenty sixth of October twenty fourteen. I have a bit of a challenge, honestly. I'm saying there's a challenge because there's a lot of noise. Okay, I'll, I'll shout now. I'm saying the minibus combi dropped him at his place of residence at the corner of Julius and Sinclair Street on the 26th of October 2014, after 1800 hours in the afternoon. <laughs> No comment, my lord. Uh, can call the he instructs me that after Mr. Mnube and Mr. Ndule had left in that minibus combi, he never met them again on that day. Uh, no comment, my Lieutenant Kennedy, he has instructed me again to go through the cell phone records which was compiled by Miss Pinky Vitilingam because we have told this court that he was a person of interest in this case, he was a suspect in this case. <coughs> I'm just going to take you through the exhibit, uh, Lieutenant Kennel. It is exhibit DD5F Roman Figure 1, which is the cell phone records of Mr. Mnube. Cell phone records is separated into AMA data and GPRS data. I think I'll be one more kind of cooking if you could get data and then GPRS data. And the second one is what? AMA data. What, what, is, what is of <coughs> importance for purposes of my cross examination because the records consist of 184 pages are the transactions of the 26th of October 2014. Before I proceed, I'm going to start here. He instructs me that 
the cell phone, the handset that accused, sorry, Mr. Mgobe was using was a Samsung GT E320. He further instructs me to put it on record that this handset is the handset that Mabung Unduli was using when he was taking photos on the 26th of October 2014. Uh, and this handset belongs to Mr. Mnube. Right, so this, the 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 Makaro Kukini, Oga, Mr. Mnube. But what is raising his eyebrows? At the transaction of the 26th of October 2014 at page 11 of 184 of the cell phone records. On the 26th of October, sorry, just at the bottom of that page, on the 26th of October 2014, at 20 hundred hours, 08 minutes, 47 seconds, there, there is an outgoing call which lasted for about 58 seconds to the number 2771-117-5387 and the tower there is 2G Holt Street, SGS 2. I'm afraid I didn't hear that. On the 26th of October, 2014. Mm -hmm. On the 26th of October, 2014? At 20, 100 hours, 08, minutes, 47 seconds, there is an outgoing call. What do you want? It's got to be 20, 08, and let me see, so I'm going to 17. We're going to get up to more Pumayo. Which lasted for about 58 seconds. We're looking at all of us on the ground, and we're going to get up to more Pumayo. We're going to get up to more Pumayo. To the number 2771-117-5387. Which you get the number of iPhone now, 2771-117-5387. The tower was 2G Holt Street, SGS 2. 2G? 2G Holt Street. Which you get the number of iPhone now, 2771-117-5387. 2G Holt Street. SGS 2. SGS2. The next transaction is on the same date, the 26th of October 2014. At 20 hundred hours, 16 minutes, 19 seconds. Scatty over twenty six Mzuzuwago sixteen Mzuzana L nineteen. It's an incoming call which lasted for about one hundred and sixty five seconds from the number two seven seven one 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 seven five three eight seven. What you get up? Quaba no thing will in Genayo. Uh, 
Le lutte, le numéro de téléphone est 02771 117 5387. The tower is 2G Hold Street SGS. Tu as gagné tower section de so 2G Hold Street SGS. In this uh, regard, Colonel, Lieutenant Colonel, I will pause and say that uh, we were also provided with the contact list, that is the list of contacts which were in the handset of Mr. Mube before court. My focus are good to all Nigi we in the list. No, I'm saying I will pause there and, 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 and inform you, Colonel, that, uh, Lieutenant Colonel, that uh, we were also provided with the list of contacts which were in the handset of the phone belonging to Mr. Mulube before court. Uh, sir, you are very inaudible. I'm, 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 I'm saying, further, on top of that, we were provided with the list of contacts which were in the handset of Mr. Mnubwe before court, which is exhibit S, small letter C. At index number 39 of exhibit S, small letter C in bracket, the number that I have referred to can belong to Ms. Indozul. So, Mr. Mnube had saved that number as the number belonging to Ms. Indozo. I see the state uh, <laughs> wants to say something. <laughs> as a court, please, my lord, we don't want to get to curtail Marlene's friend's cross-examination, but Lieutenant Colonel Mangena is a ballistic expert. He's testified about the ballistic signs. What has got all this to do with him? You know, um, these are matters that Marlene's friend can reserve for for argument. But um, and we say this with the greatest respect, you know, that a ballistic expert should sit and listen to all this will be, you know, a, a, a waste of his time a lot. And we say this with the greatest of respect. Yes, Mr. I thought I was putting the version of uh, my client since uh, Lieutenant Colonel has indicated that uh, my client was uh, a person of interest in this case. So I'm putting the version yes, of... Yes, yes, done what? He has indicated. Yes, he told the court that he was a person of interest. No, no, he never said that. He says Gininda told him that he is a person of interest, not himself. Are you with me? I'm with you. Yeah. This is so the, 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 the exercise showed that he was not a person of interest. Hence, no, I'm, no, I'm fine, putting I'm the just version. He, he did not know whether who, uh, who is a person of interest. Yes. The investigating officer is the one who told him that somebody is a, a person of interest. Yes. Maybe to exhaust and finalize this point, I just want to put it to you, Lieutenant Colonel, that at the time when Mr. Mnube received these calls, he was at the central, Johannesburg Central, because of the tower, which is indicated there as 2G Hall Street, SGS. <laughs> No comment. Family, unfortunately for me, this part of the cross examination didn't work for me, unfortunately. But anyway, let's hear from the comment section what are you saying. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Please like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love you, family. Thank you. Bye.